Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Christy, Matt, Alonzo, uh, I was not able to see the Lego Ninjago movie. I would say you were able to not see. Well, that, yeah, I, that, Congrats. Judging from what I'm reading, yeah, I, I'm not crying about that one, but they saw it, so they'll tell you about it. I know way more about Lego Ninjago than any person should because my kid, who's almost eight, watches it obsessively. He knows how to work the Netflix and the Roku. And you are a master of spinjitsu. The, I, they don't even do freaking spinjitsu in this movie till the what? very end. Oh, I don't right? know what that means, the but how dare they? Let's for. flip this table over right now. Oh. <laughs> so, um, this is a very, very watered down version of Ninjago. If you guys watch the show at home, if you ever built any of the Lego sets, this is kinda like it. I mean, if you know the show, you're gonna be like, what the hell is this by comparison? So there's a bunch of secret ninjas. Like, they're teenagers, they go to high school, but secretly they're ninjas. And one of them is the green ninja, whose real name is Lloyd Garmadon. His dad, Lloyd. his Lloyd, his dad, which, which is like funny the first time, right? right. They keep calling him Lloyd. Um, his dad is the evil Lord Garmadon, played by Justin Theroux. Oh yeah, so Dave Franco is Lloyd Garmadon. His dad is Lord Garmadon. And so Lord Garmadon keeps trying to invade and attack Ninjago City, but all the ninjas have to get together to fight him. And their leader is, in the show, it's Sensei Wu. Here is Master Wu, voiced by Jackie Chan. And they have to find the power within themselves that was there all along. Take a look. Sorry? What was that last thing you said? What? That last part. I didn't catch it. Well, I, I, I didn't say anything. What do you mean? I didn't. What, I, I said I'll be waiting and then I stopped talking. Dad. Lloyd. This movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot, I will admit, I know way too much. And, you know, we sing the theme song around the house, in our house, all the time. <laughs> and the thing with the, with the TV show is that, like, have you, have you, have you watched the show? Does a Gabe watch the yeah, show? It's like, not right. so much anymore. Right. I've watched a little bit, but they're like 30 minute episodes. Okay, right? so each ninja has a personality, right? And, and they get to do stuff and right. interact and have subplots and of their own. And none of that's here. None of that's here, I mean, they For that have- that matter, Lloyd doesn't really have much of a personality. He does not, so they have overhauled, one of the things that pissed me off the most about this is that they've overhauled the entire TV cast. These actors who've been doing these roles for seven seasons, they get rid of all of them in favor of actors Movie stars. we like, and they're funny, actors we know we didn't like, Fred Armisen and um, Kumail Nanjiani and Zach Woods and Abby Jacobson and um, Michael Pena, and who I'm missing. Anyway, that's how inter interchangeable they all are. I can't remember all of them at this point. And they are just background. They are filler, and the whole thing is like a, you know, a daddy issue story about Lloyd and his dad. And he's, his dad's never been around, and the dad wants to maybe be around. And, and I feel like we've seen that so many times. Why would you amass this great comic cast and then give them nothing to right. do? It's not particularly funny. No. Um, you know, because kids they, love Abby Jacobson. That's right. Why. And maybe the Nick only the only thing that I really <laughs> thought was at all kind of that amusing was when you know he's got the shark gun, and anytime you see the sharks, the sharks you just hear this nom 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 nom, <laughs> nom. like yeah. that was kind of funny. And I thought, well, okay, I guess they pulled that gag from or some a, that'd be the kind of gag that maybe didn't get got left out of the Lego Movie, right? This mm -hmm. movie is a pale imitation of what Warner had done with Lego Batman and the Lego movie. It's it's like there's no reason to have made this movie except that, oh, we gotta get another movie out. And, and the thing is, that the, the thing that's cool about the Lego movie and also Lego Batman is that they play on the fun of Legos, right? right? And the building aspect of them and the possibility for creativity and the snapping into place to create new cool stuff. What happens here is it's just, it's like any ordinary digitally animated film, but the background's all rendered in Legos. Right, when they when they do yeah. that, when there is finally a scene where they're building something, that vehicle on the island or wherever they are, it's shoehorned in there in a way that you're like, yeah. Who cares? Now and that it's being, hard to see a lot. I think, right. I think a lot of the visuals are very garbled when they are transforming right. into things or when they're in their little mecha outfits. Yeah, you know. I mean, I, look, this is not the worst animated movie <laughs> I've ever seen. No. 
But it's the worst animated Lego movie, it sounds like. By far, well, I think like it's dropped precipitously <laughs> the quality. Having watched yeah. some of the direct-to-video Lego movies. We're not talking uh, about them. No, understood, but I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> okay, sure, theatrical. This is not the worst Lego production I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, as a 90 minute, you know, kind of. Toy commercial. Toy yeah. commercial. <laughs> it's, it's fine, mm -hmm. it's fine. It, you know, the things that this movie has going for it is that the animation is reasonably interesting. It's wonderfully short um, <laughs> as movies go. Uh, and the screening I was at, they gave out free Lego sets and drink tickets. I had no boo so, toys. I did my not recommendation have any is bugs. find you a theater. <laughs> find you a theater that they're giving away Legos and free alcohol, well, and you'll be much more into this. Movie. That, that speaks to the point, though. This movie sounds like it has less to offer the adult audience than right. the other two Lego right. movies, theatrical right. movies. Right, and if your kids are fans of the TV show, though, they may not really like it either, like or like it that much because it really yep. isn't like the TV show. What did show. Nick think? He didn't like it. Because the voices were wrong, or <laughs> Nick's heard it. We should have asked him. We Nick, should. Nick, Nick doesn't. I actually asked him if he wanted to come on here. He said he did not want to. He was he, so angry at the movie. He said no. Screw it. This is his his boycott. No, he's out. <laughs> he's out front playing on the iPad right now. There's no school today in Los Angeles. So. Um, well, I was going to say also, there's this whole like live action bookend situation, this narrative structure with Jackie Chan mm, right. explaining the legend of Ninjago, which brings us into the animated part. And I think it really, it hampers the momentum from the get go. It's, it's slow and quiet from the get go. And it sort of, I think that, that carries on into the entirety of the film. Having said that, there are a couple of cool ideas here and there. The thing with the cat is cool. It's, is in, it, it's in the trailers. Is there a short? No. no. What? There's not a short. Um, the movie is your short. And uh, yeah, this is a short. Enough. It's a funny idea with a cat, okay? And it's not a right. spoiler because it's in the trailer. It's like a live action cat called right. Meowthra, right. which like wreaks <laughs> havoc. And that's kind of a funny idea. And he like comes in and he knocks over the Lego buildings. And it's a funny idea, like for the extent right. of a viral video about cats doing crazy stuff. Right. Like if, if that were it, that'd be fine. But they try to make it a whole through line and it's like, ugh, he's knocking over more buildings. Like, Early on in the movie, as <laughs> you're going into the city of Ninjago, it's this kind of mishmash, you know, of primarily Japanese influence of a major city that is somewhat, I wouldn't say generic, but it's it's not supposed to be a specific city, but you see it's this futuristic city that has elements of places like, say, Tokyo. It looks Japanese. Right, it looks Japanese. Mm -hmm. And all I could think of was, it made me immediately think of Big Hero 6. Mm -hmm. I was just I gonna thought, say. <laughs> Man, I'd rather be watching another yeah. Hero 6 movie than yeah. this one. Yeah, that had a vivid <laughs> sense of place. Right. Right. Numbers. Right, so it's not good, I'm saying three. Uh, I'm saying four, but only because of the free drink and free Lego. <laughs> so you if you can were be sober, bought. Right. I can be bought. Your number would be a lot lower if you were sober is what yeah. you're trying to say. All right, so our number is 3.5, it's at 52%. It was at 100 for a little while, and it keeps dropping, 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 dropping. So um, I guess it's the only movie coming out this weekend that the whole family can go see. So I guess in that regard, it's harmless. But should they go see it? No. Take them to It instead. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Mother. <laughs> right.